uh, the bullfighters are ready as well, including Joe Butler, one of the best in the business. He's the subject of our Wrangler Long Live Cowboys. I've been fighting bulls now since 01, I guess. I had my PRCA card in 2003. Uh, it, it's just the love of it, but I'm an adrenaline junkie anyways. Uh, you know, when I'm not fighting bulls, I'm in an off-road car somewhere and, you know, and it, it it makes you feel real good when, you know, saves somebody and everybody walks away safe and that guy, you see him at the next one, you know, it, it sure makes you feel good. Just like anything else, I mean, you have your basics, but then you venture off and, you know, kind of have your own style to it. Uh, it's kind of the same way fighting bulls, you know, I've taught a couple bullfighting schools um, and I kind of teach some kids the basics to read bulls, to get around bulls, and basically then just tell them to get in front of bulls, and the bulls will teach you a lot. It's amazing, you think you're touching one on the head, and you watch back a picture or something, and you're two foot away from it. And you know, a guy that actually helped me fighting bulls when I first started, though, Stanley West out of Missouri, you know, there's two things he really told me. He said, slow down, and when you think you're close enough, take one more step. And that has stuck in my mind more than anything in the last several years that when you think you're there fixing to grab him, go ahead and take one more step and you realize that then you've got a hold of him. Uh, you know, and going through those gaps and stuff, he'd always tell you, slow down. And, you know, you stutter step through those gaps and really collect those bulls. And that way you've got their attention that there's no chance they're going to hit that guy laying on the ground.